Hi scientists, Miss Jade here. I've been thinking about how our community and our planet Earth has gone through a lot of tough times lately. I was thinking we could make a Zen rock spiral in the garden at school to help our community feel good and kind of process some of our big emotions. It can also be used to inspire each other. Zen rock spirals are kind of a meditative space where you can walk the spiral and observe other people's feelings and thoughts and have calm bodies and calm minds. Um, here's how it's going to work. Each student is going to design a rock to add to the rock spiral. This is how it's going to work. You're going to find a rock first. I recommend the size should be about a chicken egg size up to a mango size, but please no bigger than a mango. Um, then you're going to add your art. Your name is optional. And then you're going to return it to me by October 1st during a materials drop-off or materials pickup session, okay? Um, what goes on your rock? You can write how you're feeling about all the tough stuff that's come up lately. There are some examples there, loved, sadly. You can write inspirational words or quotes to help our community feel good. Um, words of inspiration for yourself, for others, courage, hope. You could also do symbols, pictures, drawings, or images that make you feel good. If you rather not do words, that's totally fine. So you're either doing how you're feeling, inspirational words or quotes, or symbols, pictures, drawings about things that make you feel good. What materials work best on rocks? You can use Posca pens. They're water-based pens. You can get them at Palace Art Supply. I think it's about four bucks for one, uh, but they last a while. They're water-based. Uh, Sharpies totally work. Permanent markers. Acrylic paints also work. They're messier, but they definitely work. Um, I'm going to be sealing all the rocks when I get them back, which means I'm putting a special coating around them so they won't um, wear away with time in the garden with like rain and all the elements. Just remember if you use Sharpie though, because I need to use a different sealant with Sharpie than I do with the Posca paints or acrylic paints. Here are some examples, scientists. Um, these are with the Posca pens. That's what they look like. These are the pens. They come in different sizes. Um, my son Farron did a couple of these ones. He loves skating. Makes him feel happy. You can do both sides of the rocks if you'd like with your feelings and messages and images. Here are Sharpies. They're a little bit darker but you can totally use those for your feeling or inspirational words. And here are some acrylic paint examples. Um, I did the Posca pens over. This middle one got a little smudged, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll go over it again. Being an artist is being creative, being a problem solver, just like scientists. And that's that friends. So the materials you can use, what's going on the rocks, and our basic steps. If you need help getting a rock or getting a Sharpie, I will be out next week at Materials Pickup, giving you those supplies if you don't have them at home. And starting next week, you can also begin to drop your rocks off. I'll be out during all the materials um, pickup sessions until October 1st. And then I'm gonna be assembling the rock spiral at school. All right, scientists, send me any questions you have. Be well, have fun with your beautiful rocks. See you soon.